um, to the configuration of Jetscape. Um, so Jetscape is configured by two different XML files. The XML is just a, a, a type of configuration uh, file. And the two types of files are, we call a, a master XML file and the user XML file. So what the master XML file is, this is, uh, this is a file which contains all of the possible parameter values for every possible module that, that you can run in Jetscape. And so this is, this is something that you won't modify itself, uh, but rather serves as, as a reference for what is possible, what are all of the possible options that you can run Jetscape with. Um, now, the, the main thing then that you actually interact with when you're running Jetscape is what are called the user XML file. And so this is a much shorter, much simpler file which specifies a list of which modules in Jetscape you want to run, as well as which parameter values that you want to use if they're different than the defaults. So by default, uh, all the parameters will be inherited from the, this master XML file, but any specific parameters that you want to, um, that you want to use that are different from those defaults you provide in your user file. So to have a little more specific um, look at this, and we'll really get into um, get, getting your hands on it during the hands-on session um, in a bit. Um, but the, the master XML file looks something like the following. Um, so this is actually, it's, it's quite large file because it, it contains um, all of the possible settings, as I said. So here is kind of a snapshot of that file on the right-hand side. Um, and you can see you know, that it contains a list of all possible basic parameters. So the number of events, some options to reuse hydro events, some technical things such as uh, level of debug messages you want to see, um, different output formats. Um, uh, you can add a random seed or change a random seed, um, which is sometimes useful for developing things. And then there comes in kind of the bottom half of this uh, this um, printout on the right here is an example of one particular module. So this is the initial state module. And here you see that there are um, just a bunch of different parameters defined, different uh, grid sizes, grid steps, and a and, uh, variety of things. And so what follows here below is then the same similar setup for whatever parameters are relevant to um, the, the remainder of the modules in Jetscape. Um, so, so you don't need to know all the details of all of these things, but you will want to pay attention to the specific modules that you're using um, because you need to make sure that the parameters that you're running there are the sensible ones that get you the physics that you want to get. So in this sense, uh, this, this master XML file is kind of a database of all possible modules and parameters um, that, you, that you should refer to when you're deciding and uh, specifying how you want to run uh, events yourself. Now, the user XML file, on the other hand, um, as I said, it's much simpler. So the, the example that I show on the right is actually the full file. So this is, this is everything that you as a user would supply, um, relatively simple, you know, some tens of lines of code. And here um, you specify some basic information at the top, for example, the number of events, what type of output format you want, which we'll discuss later. And then you just list the modules that you want to include. And you list them in the order also that you, you want them to execute. So here in this example, we have first an initial state module that we want to run. We have a hard process. We have a hydro. We have an energy loss um, module, which itself actually contains two different um, modules, matter and ADS-CFT in this example. And finally, at the bottom, a hydronization mo uh, module. And so what we do here is uh, in this file is we specified which modules we want to run. So any module that shows up here in your user XML file, that will be executed when you um, run Jetscape. And then any parameters that you specify here um, will also be used. So by default, if you don't specify a parameter for a particular module, it will use the default value from this master XML file. 
But if you do specify a value, so for example, if, if we look at this, um, this in the energy loss modules, the Q naught value of two here, this would then be something that, that is, uh, this value of two will be used instead of whatever is shown in the, the master XML file. Okay, so that, that's kind of the basic of the, um, the configurations of Jetscape, um, which again, we'll, we'll play with and, and customize uh, in the hands-on session.